Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three slices of cake from Carlos Bake Shop. They are located in Hoboken, New Jersey. We have the chocolate fudge, the red velvet cake, and the carrot cake. And hopefully you saw the video we did previously of uh, three three cake slices, three other flavors from Carlos Bake Shop. It says peel here. So what you want to do is just peel here. Do exactly what it says. Now, you, uh, these same packages are available in vending machines. So if you are buying it from a vending machine, most likely you will eat it straight from the package. Uh, but since we are reviewing it for you here at home, we are going to remove it from the package. And I don't want to lose any of <laughs> my frosting. frosting. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of try to pull it away from the side. We'll see. We'll see how I... I think I lost a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, if you're eating these out of the package, it won't matter, but... No, it won't matter. And the ones that we did uh, in the video, uh, the previous video, uh, we did not lose, we didn't lose any frosting at no, all. but it was all white frosting. It was like firmer frosting. Yes, it was much firmer. This is chocolate and gooey, and so you have some little, like, little jimmies down here, little candies, and then you have the chocolate. And then there's uh, four layers right there mm. of your chocolate. Looks uh, very rich. It does look very rich. Uh, so now this is the red velvet. And these, um, I'll show you, these packages don't have any calories or uh, nutritional, the um, nutritional information, ingredients, anything like that on there. You have to grab, be able to grab it. There we go. Because some are easier um, to peel than others. I'm <laughs> just thinking, uh, we ordered these uh, from Amazon. You can order them from Carlo's Bake Shop. Um, but if you have uh, dietary restrictions, if you have any allergies or anything like that, then you will have to um, go to the website and look. I would assume they have, uh, you know, that on the website because... Uh, they're, they're used to dealing with allergies, people that have allergies and stuff like that. And so they would be able to answer that question for you. I cannot answer that question for you here. Like, are these, you know, peanut do, free? Peanut free? Yeah, I do not know that here. So you, you'll have to take it up with the website. Okay, now I did lose some on this one too. That's funny. It is funny because, uh, because we didn't have that issue at all. With the previous three but so it's not going to be as pretty that's okay but you still get four layers now this carrot cake looks like there's only three layers thick and i am able to grab this one immediately there we go yeah this one has three layers i think you're gonna need another four I've used all my forks. <laughs> well, we didn't expect to have the issue. No, no. See, see, it's stuck. So when I when I dump this out, it is going to stick. But that's okay. I'll just uh, we'll just know it's not as pretty as it should be. Yeah, all my frosting <laughs> came off. So this was on the top. On the side. Or on the side. I mean, Carlos Bakery, they're just shaking their head right now. Hey, they're the ones that designed the packaging. Well, uh, the packaging, they had to design something that I guess you could use in a vending machine, and this is the best they could do. So it looks very, very moist. We ordered these from Amazon. Uh, we have Amazon Prime, so we get free shipping. If you order directly from Carlo's Bake Shop, which you absolutely can, you can get the same set that we got. We actually got eight slices. Uh, six flavors. Six flavors, eight slices. But you can get the same set directly from them, but you're gonna have to pay for shipping. So if you are an Amazon Prime member, why wouldn't you get it from Amazon? And they also have other things like on the website, you can get cookies. 
on Amazon you can get cookies. So, you know, uh, this was $74.95 for eight cake slices, but that's $9.37 a slice. That's how much it is. Which so, is slightly cheaper than you can get a Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a slice of cheesecake. So, uh, we're going to try the chocolate first. This is a chocolate fudge. A quintessential chocolate cake iced with a rich chocolate fudge frosting topped with chocolate ganache and adored with chocolate sprinkles. Where did you go? You only got one fork. No, I've got a fork. Oh, I didn't see your fork. <laughs> I didn't, you had your arm on top. I had my, that. yeah, no, I got, I got me a fork because I left the fork for where I took it out of the package. So no, I got, got me another fork. Okay. That's a rich chocolate. Well, that's what we want. And their chocolate frosting is really, really, really um, good and sweet. Wow. That cake is super, super moist. Mm -hmm. And that frosting is excellent. Um, I don't know that I've had, I've had some moist chocolate cake. But I don't know that I've had one this moist. Mm, it's very good. The uh, the chocolate cake by itself is good. It's a little dark. It's a little dark chocolate cake, but when you eat it with that frosting, it's spot on. I'll get some just cake. It's so moist It's still though. pretty sweet though. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, it's very good. It's. It, it just, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's extremely moist. It's very, very fresh. These, um, if you, when you get these in the mail, they come on dry ice. Yeah, they're and not frozen, but they're, they're cool. It was, my dry ice was gone, but they had put dry ice in there because mm -hmm. uh, we got it within two days. I ordered it from Amazon on a Tuesday. I received it on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it came, got to us quickly, but the dry ice had completely evaporated, but they were cool. Um, it's in a cooler, like yes. actually a cooler. A cooler, yes. Like you could save it Styrofoam. or use it if you wanted to. Styrofoam with a lid, yeah. You can put these in the freezer if you want, um, but if we just put them in the refrigerator because we knew we were going to be eating them one day and then the next the, the next day. Um, but uh, you need to just let it fall out on the counter. Even though it's been in the refrigerator, they'll tell you let it lay out for an hour before. If it's frozen, you want to, you know, let it lay out longer than an hour. Um, but this... I'll tell you what, if it's frozen, though, you might have been able to get the frosting out without it sticking. You, you probably would have. That's a great point. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if you could. I'm saying you may have been able to. For this to um, have... Uh, Traveled. Traveled and everything. <laughs> it is so fresh. Very, it is so good. sweet and delicious. That is an excellent chocolate cake. It's very, very good. And the mm. the uh, the frosting, the cake itself is really, really good, but the frosting makes it. Yes, I know. I agree. I think it's wonderful. Uh, our grandson absolutely loves chocolate cake. He would love it. He that. would love it. He would He'd be that all up. over it. Do you want the carrot or the chocolate? The velvet? red velvet. Um, red velvet. This Southern classic with moist cake and cream cheese frosting. The cake is adorned with chocolate shavings and crumbles of red velvet cake. That's what it says on their... I don't see shavings, but they might have been because some of them got stuck and might be mixed in. I don't see any of them. I don't either. I don't see... No, I don't see that. It looks like just classic red velvet with cream cheese. I love a good cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. This is a good cream cheese frosting. It's not a great cream cheese frosting, but it's good. I agree. You know why? Because it doesn't have as much sweetness. It's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. You definitely get the cream cheese flavor, and mm -hmm. it's whipped up. The texture is wonderful. It's very whipped up. It's nice texture, mm -hmm. but it's not as sweet. And no. the cake is kind of a a darker chocolate kind of flavored cake. And, but I don't get the dye, so that's a good thing. No. Sometimes red velvet, I really taste that red food dye. I mm -hmm. don't. It does have a nice flavor. I think of the cake itself, um, I like the cake more than the cream cheese frosting just because mm. when I make it, 
um, it's, it's just a lot sweeter. And like if you buy a tub even of cream cheese frosting, it's going to be very sweet. Mm -hmm. You're still going to taste the cream cheese, but it's going to have a lot more sweetness. Right. This just isn't as sweet. No, I think that for this one, uh, the cake overpowers the frosting when you eat them together. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. The, the cake, literally the flavor but of the I, cake itself takes over. But I wouldn't want to eat that frosting by itself. Or I wouldn't want to eat the cake by itself. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. so this together is Together it goes, it goes together okay. It's just not, it's not the best right about cake. Right. right. I it's agree. Okay. It, I would rather have my own for yeah, that it's one. Okay. Um, not this, bad. Hmm. This one is the carrot cake. Let me get it and it says made with freshly shredded carrots as it should be and finely chopped walnuts and frosted with cream cheese icing that's why i wanted to, was telling you all in the beginning about the the allergies and stuff so like this has walnuts you need to know stuff like that now i got the usually you get the top but it doesn't matter i usually save the top for you so you can get all that frosting oh Mm. Where they did three layers instead of four, the the actual cake pieces are are much thicker. So mm. that piece that I got was like, wow, that's a big piece. But it's just it's it's a thicker piece than what we had before. I think that cream cheese frosting is probably the same, although it looks more yellow. It tastes, uh, I think it might be the same. It's very similar, but it's not exactly the same. It's very similar. Um, it goes better with this more spiced cake than it does with that chocolate cake. I agree. The, red the uh, it, 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 uh, once again, it's lacking sweetness. Mm -hmm. It just, it, I mean, that's all you can say. I do think it's the same. Yeah. And it just doesn't have the sweetness. But what makes this cake is the uh the spice and the um you're just getting all that together all those spices the carrots the walnuts well you don't expect a carrot cake to necessarily be really sweet anyway. no you don't whereas a red velvet cake you kind of expect it to be a little sweet mm -hmm. yeah i didn't try just the cake mm -hmm. all these cakes are really good and uh, uh moist cakes though you get a Not little, as moist as that chocolate one was, but... You get a little bit of that spice with it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice cake. I like that one better than the red velvet. For sure. Um, I do too. The red velvet... I also velvet, get the texture of the carrots a little bit in there. Um, I, I like the carrot cake quite mm -hmm. a bit. The only thing that would make it better is a sweeter cream cheese. I would rather have a different cream cheese frosting yeah. than what they have. It's just... Just sweetened um, up a little bit. Uh, it just needs to be sweeter. Uh, so... Um, I do like that though. It is nice. Um, out of these three, oh. uh, hands down the chocolate though. That well, chocolate is outstanding. Yeah. Are, are we going to talk about all the cakes we got? Like the six flavors? Okay. So the six flavors we got, these three, and then we got, they give you, um, and they actually give you two of the chocolate. Wow. And they give you. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. And they give you two of the rainbow. Um, so we tried a rainbow, a confetti, and a black and white. Those were in the first set we tried. And so, uh, do you have a favorite? No, I have a, an opinion one way or the other. Okay. The chocolates are the best. I agree. That is the best of all six. I agree. The black and white is the second, second best. <laughs> and truthfully, they could keep all the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the confetti one and the um, what was the other one? Um, rainbow. The rainbow. They were good. They were good. They were sweet. They were super fresh and everything like that. That um, white frosting though was just. It was just okay. Yeah. What is it really? You get more flavor from a tub frosting than you mm -hmm. would that. They weren't bakery quality frostings as far as what we're used to. We're used to very very sweet buttercream, buttercream, bakery rich frosting. frosting, and that's not what they. Yeah, these off. just weren't that way. No. But the chocolates. What's amazing is the chocolate the cake itself is very very rich but then the flavor and the textures and everything but the frosting is so so good and yes. very very sweet yes um that's why we, that's why when you were picking the chocolate because they're super sweet uh -huh. <laughs> um, 
So the, if I had to buy, if I went into Carla's Bakery, I would 100% pick chocolate over any other thing they have. Well, if I went to Carla's Bakery, I would be looking. I talked you in the get other things. I talked <laughs> in the previous video. They sell they sell cannolis. You can order cannolis online. Uh, they had other things that you can get. So it's just it's not just cake and cookies. Um, but they had a picture, and I think it was on their website of an Italian. Okay, the, like the Italian cookies. They had a picture of like an, a cake. slice of Italian <laughs> cake. If they had that available, I would get that. Because it's I would, I would so. it's almond flavor, yeah. and I would love, love, yeah. love to try that. That, um, that would be good, but I, I, I'm sold on the chocolate, though. I'm sold on the chocolate, too. Yeah. So, like, if you went to one of their vending, vending machines, I would and the they chocolate. only had these six flavors available, you have to get the chocolate. If you like chocolate. Yes. Yes, it is a must because the chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, get uh, probably the uh, either one of the, either one of the vanilla ones would be fine. Confetti. Um, and these just the for me, it's the cream cheese frosting that kind mm -hmm. of lets them down. It doesn't fail. It just lets them down a little bit. They're just well, not sweet. I like the, the the carrot would be my after the white ones would be carrot, and then the red velvet would be my last one. I would go um, chocolate, black and white, confetti carrot rainbow and then red velvet i, I can see that yeah, yeah. I, I can agree with that yeah uh so all these excellent all of them it really is they did a great job so if you're interested um i'll put a link below that's what i'll do i'll put an amazon link below um so if you're interested you can go right there um like i said if you're a prime member why wouldn't you because you get it free shipping mm -hmm. but now and it's the same price right oh yeah same price so if you go to the bakery uh the carlos bakery website you pay for shipping and i'm pretty sure i read if you're a floor um hawaii or alaska resident it's like 45 dollars or it's some crazy shipping amount i don't remember yeah well, they probably I, have to double up on the draw i swear it said it was like 45 dollars or something or they have to overnight it or something because it said sorry folks or something like that that you're having to pay so much yeah. so they will ship it but it's just going to cost you a lot of money um so they probably have to ship it differently so far away i'm sure they do yeah uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever had these, you'll have to let us know your thoughts and opinions. What did you think? If you've ever been to Carlos Bakery. Yeah, I think, I wonder, show. because he, he had a show, if you don't know, if you're in another country, you may not know. He had a show called Cake Boss, and it was on TLC. You could probably look on YouTube and find clips of it. And, they would um, design cakes and stuff. When that show was on, they had like lines of people waiting to get in this bakery because they were so popular. I wonder if they still have lines now. Mm -hmm. Now that the show's not on anymore, do they still have lines? Because I would think that would be something if you're going to New Jersey, that I would want to go there. I would I would definitely want to go to Hoboken and, and go to Buddy's, you know, go to Carlo's Bake, bake Shop. Shop. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.